Hello traders, welcome to Alliance Blue. This is Dipen Gogoi. And uh, today in this video, I will discuss about the Bank Nifty, and I will discuss some um, like uh, support and resistance line and pivot points, and uh, in which direction we can enter in this market for buy direction or sell direction. So we will analyze about that one. If you like, uh, so in this video, I am not showing uh, more pivot point for more pivot point like you just visit to our website so you visit to our website and you will find here have you seen this one tool option and when you click the tool option and pivot point will be displayed so you go to here and you'll see everything pivot point here nsc mcx and um, forex and mcx weekly okay so here you can see uh, bank nifty last continuous i told uh, that it is uh, placing uptrend and this last point is showing 27,845 so i draw a trend line here in the daily basis so you can see they create they was creating higher higher right? they're creating higher high and higher low higher high higher low so higher high and they uh, again from that area so i think it will go around 27800 because here you can see i place a resistance line here and here supporting line and now becoming here a resistance line right so from that area i think market will give a retracement so you can see previously they are there was following the this one 50 moving average it's exponential moving average so i think from that area after reaching this area it will reverse market up to this area so who people are buying uh, in bank nifty so like a call uh, who are bought the call you just close your position near 27800 uh, 45 so from that level so i think market will reverse to near 50 moving average but people are thinking they will uh, like a price is coming down they are placing downtrend but not exactly in a daily it is confirming that here you can see 50 moving average cross here have you seen this one 50 moving average cross here and it is confirming that like 150 moving average cross 150 moving average like 150 moving average this is 50 moving average right 150 moving average cross 150 moving average is confirming that the trend is changing and from this area up trend is placing right so price when is going because price never goes straight i am always telling price is always goes like a wave right so once going up again doing retracement going up retracement going up retracement going up retracement so here uh, you will able to see that they are creating higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high higher low right but one thing we have to focus by using um MSCD. So let me use MSCD here. So I'm using MSCD, just applying manual pre -out. So here, one thing you can see. So one thing you can see here. MSCD momentum are decreasing continuously. Have you seen? But price is going higher, high. Right? But MACD diagram are reducing if we draw a line here by connecting MACD you can see I just draw the connecting the higher point of MACD histogram and I'm drawing same place price was here have you seen this one right so it is confirming that when they are forming like that they are confirming prices showing higher high right 
but MACD is showing like that. They are reducing the momentum of the up trend. So for that purpose, I'm telling just according to me, the price will fall from this area right so when you will get opportunity in this area you just close your position right now let me uh, check it in fifth uh, small time frame like um, four hour so four hour you can same method i happening here price is going up but MACD is failing, right? Have you seen? So it is confirming that it may price may reverse from this area. So if you see one hour fully showing uh, up now, right? You can see price is bouncing from this one, bouncing from here, bouncing from here, bouncing from here. So I think price again. It will fail from because it's a resistant line when re, when price is reached near near resistant line we have to stop selling from that area if they break this level so we will again further going for buy okay so now we'll see um, for entry point so for entry point i always use this method so I think you remember yesterday I told you that this one strong resistance here is a supporting point, support point, support point, support point. Now you can see strong support point. Last yesterday whole day they are trying to break this level. You can, uh, so we know that yesterday was expired, right? Yesterday was expired. It's the last Thursday, like Thursday. So you can see during the expiry they they not able to break this supporting line right so i told that when i will get the opportunity enter in this market i will enter in this market for call option or if we see here let me just zoom in so i draw many line here by connecting this one this one this one this one so it is strong support and here one resistant 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 three consequent uh, play, uh, price i just connect that you can see there's same time they're using a strong support here and if we see here let me zoom so here you can see 50 moving average have you seen this one purple color uh, 50 moving average is placing strong support and isimoko line also placing support and this one now becoming near support so that is why and another percentage are also staying above minus 50 so it is very risky if you're going to start, uh, going to uh, buy call option so if price break this level like let me draw if price break this uh, isimoko 60 level this one isimoko 60 level is this kizusen okay red one is kizusen if they break this level and close below and next candle is open and break this previous candle like let me explain or otherwise you will not able to understand so suppose next candle broke uh, next candle where i'll enter for call option right next candle suppose in case they break this level right because they broke this uh, suppose they break this level and they open here like so when price will break this pbs this line i'll enter here right i'll enter here for buy call option 
and my exit point will be here to near 200 moving average it is for entry bank nifty okay so let's see another um, what call nifty almost bank nifty and uh, nifty are running in the same direction so let me check it nifty nifty also same running no need to say anything almost running so if you wanna know another any stocks about the stocks you just write down in comment box in which stock you wanna know i'll analyze for you so i think you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching